What's up guys? I want to make this video today and uh, I'm going to talk about two points. One, Walmart, and then one uh, subject about tow vehicle. Alright, so within a year I've bought, uh, I think the count is 12 tires. No, I'm wrong. I've bought 16 tires because I bought four for a kid of mine. So I bought 16 tires from Walmart in a year. It's a lot of tires, huh? All right, so I went over to Walmart a little while ago, and I thought, man, I'm going to get this slow leak on this front tire fixed and uh, get that thing fixed because there's not a lot of people out in this, this uh, weather we're having because it's snowy and, you know, it's cold out and everything. So not a lot of people out chooching around on the highways so I headed on over to Walmart I thought I had road hazard warranty but uh, I don't because I paid $12 per tire I guess 12 13 times uh, and basically that only covered lifetime rotation so I thought it covered uh, flat repair too, but it don't. And so I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and have you guys go ahead and fix this tire. And she's like, uh, have you plugged it? And I'm like, well, yeah, I plugged it. You know, it was leaking air. And she's like, oh, well, we can't fix it if you already plugged it. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, if you've already plugged that tire, we can't fix it. It's just our policy. And I'm like, oh, man. So, that was a dry run with old Walmart, but this is what they charge. They charge $10 per tire to uh, cover that road hazard warranty, and, uh, you know, I, I think that's kind of an absorbent amount when it only costs $10 to fix a flat, and that would be $40 for a set of tires. I mean, shit. So... There's that, and then I'm going to head on over to a uh, shop that I know they'll fix my tire. They don't care if there's a plug in it or not. They're going to slap a patch on it from the inside and get her going. But the second point I wanted to talk about, a guy asked me about a, uh, I'm going to call it an, an uh, auxiliary braking system. I don't know if that's the correct term for this, so I'll, I'll give you a quick description of it. Basically, what it is, is it goes on your floorboard in your tow vehicle. And what it does is when you hit your brakes on the truck in front of you, it hits your brakes on your car. And if your car breaks away from the truck in front of you, it takes and holds the brake pedal down until everything comes to a stop and it just holds that brake pedal down. And that's what I would call an additional braking system or emergency braking system or an auxiliary braking system. So I don't use one of these. And I'm sure they're a great thing for people that, that uh, you know what, let's see if this thing will take off on this hill. I'm in a, a Honda 1 and they have put a little salt down. Oh, the uh, traction control kicked in. I don't know if you heard it. But anyway, uh, uh, basically, I don't use those because I see it as another step in which I'm going to have to hook that up. I'm going to have to move it out of my driver's area if I get in my vehicle and start it and warm up. Or I mean, it's just a whole other step that you know I don't want. But I'm sure it's a great thing for other people, but I personally, I don't use it. Uh, I have seen them on Facebook Marketplace for sale, and they had the, the wiring, the whole nine yards, the whole system, and it was an affordable price. But you could find them on Facebook Marketplace if you're interested in it. And my biggest thing about drive away and using a tow vehicle is I don't use 
the cables. And I have seen from pictures what other drivers sent me that those cables will break. And I've never used a cable. I've always used chains. Besides, if you carry a chain, you get stuck. Guess what? You got a damn chain. Some uh, local could pull you out. I mean, it's a great thing to have a chain. So I don't use cables. I use overkill heavy-duty chains. And that's what I use. So I'm going to cut this short. And I'm going to hit the nitrous button. And I'm going to scooch on home. So you all stay safe. Be kind to one another. And get out there and make some damn money.